Hello, today's topic is railings. And before we get started, I would like to demonstrate some railing terminologies as the following. Railing offset from pass. For example, it is minus 0.1 meter, which is this value. If it was positive 0.1 meter, it would have been here. The railing would have been here. However, in that case, the railing pass offset is zero. It's not here or there. This is the top rail. And this is the railing extension. This is the handrail where I'm going to put my hand on and it is always connected to the railing by two supports. This is the one support and this is the other one. As we have just said, this is the handrail support. This is the start post. This is the end post. These two railings called intermediate railings. These are the balusters. The gooseneck transition of top rail. So this is our top rail and this is the gooseneck transition style of that top rail. The second transition of top rail is called simple transition, which is this one. The third transition of top rail is called non-transition because there is void between that top rail and the other top rail. Now we are confidently able to create our railings by two ways. The first way to create railing by sketch pass. So we go architecture tab and then railing and we would notice sketch pass and place on host. So sketch pass the first way. First, I need to go to properties and see my base level. Okay, level one. Offset from path. Meaning if I go to my line and choose this is to be my edge. And I would set that to be 0.2. Apply. And okay this is our offset from pass with value 0.2 meter if we make it minus 0.2 this is the scenario of minus 0.2 meter offset from pass of our reading then we can change the style of our reading from type selector can be like this one or any other type from the type selector. The second way to create railings is by place on host. So we go architectural railing, place on stair or ramp. Host basically would be either stair or ramp. So for example, I would choose that staircase to be my host. And I am going to place my railing relatively positioned to treads of that staircase so tread and i would choose that staircase to be my host so this is the created railing if i just select that railing i would find that offset from pass is 0.254 meter if i go to my south elevation for example this is my railing uh, relatively positioned to my tread of the staircase for example if i set that value to be zero notice what would happen it would go that way control z from keyboard
it is paramount consideration of safety matter to create a reading for the staircase shaft opening. This is by create the reading by sketch, not by host. To do that, I need to define the location of that shaft opening, which is floor plan level one first. So I go to the project browser, that floor plan level one, and go to architectural reading and sketch path. I would use line as a drawing tool and very important to do this line separately. So this is my first line and then second line and then third line and finish edit mode. If I go to my 3D view, I would find that guardrail for my shaft opening as shown but there is a missing guardrail from here to here so go back to our level one first and again go to architectural railing sketch line from here to here this is our guardrail or railing finally adding a reading for a sloped wall i've created that wall from level one to level three so i would go to level three floor plan and then architectural railing sketch path then pick new host i will pick that wall and then start sketching my railing and by this we come to the end of our topic today please like this video if you find it helpful